And in Williamsburg, there is a group of students working to get felons the right to vote. Under Governor McAuliffe, thousands of convicted felons have had their voting rights restored. But with a new governor just months away, a group of law students has taken up the charge. Ten on your sides, Matt Gregory has more, and he talked to the students who are in charge. Matt? Yeah, Lauren Stephanie, Virginia is one of the only states that requires a governor's action to restore the right to vote. And with the race next month, William and Mary Law students say this is the best time for someone trying to revive their vote. Paul Waddell doesn't want to talk about the crime he was convicted of more than 40 years ago. But since the day he finished his sentence, he'll tell you he spent all 30 years trying to get back his right to vote. I can't remember who the governor was then. That's how long ago it's been. Each year, Waddell tells me he did the same thing. Going through the channels of going downtown, filing the paperwork and submitting it. And uh, like I've done before, nothing ever happened. Then last year, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe streamlined the process, and in 2016, for the first time in decades, Paul Waddell voted. Now I gotta say, and by saying is by voting. That's why we went to the William and Mary Law School, where students like Jacob Stownacre and Noel Harvey work in the Revive My Vote group. Under Governor McAuliffe, the sole criteria is that you've completed your. Uh, your sentence, including probation and parole. For the last few years, the group has run a hotline and a website, and they assist convicted felons who meet the governor's standard. We can kind of cut through the red tape there, and that's where we try to provide the most help. But both of them say starting this month, it's crucial for convicted felons who want to vote to get in touch with them. Next month, Virginia elects a new governor. Come January, we don't know if that process will change, and we want to help as many people go through the current policy of getting their rights back while it's still in effect. And if you're wondering what the right to vote may mean to someone, just ask Paul Waddell about his 30-year struggle to cast a ballot. Oh, it was very meaningful. Made me feel like I'm part of society. Now, the deadline to have your rights restored for this election is passed. However, Revive My Vote says people may have become eligible without knowing it. They can check their status, and if that's the case, get you registered before October 16th. In the newsroom, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.